Hello YouTube, it's Chris and I'm back in the Bolt again. Uh, and today I thought we'd do an experiment. Um, I've mentioned before that uh, one of the great things about this Chevy Bolt is its regenerative braking and that you can actually gain a lot of range going downhill. So what we're going to do today, we're in North Vancouver. We're going to drive to the top of uh, Mount Seymour, which is a local ski hill here, and then come back down and see what our net range is once we hit the bottom. Uh, so I've zeroed out the trip meter and I'll just show you that and then we'll get a start All right, so here we go. So you can see that our expected range is 284 kilometers So we're at the bottom uh, We're currently using just half a watt as we sit here idling away uh, And we'll start up the hill. I expect that we will uh, use a lot and then uh, gain a lot on the bottom. So let's see if we can get back to 286 at the bottom. I'm not gonna film as we drive. I don't have any fancy gear yet on how to do that. So you'll just have to, um, I'll, I'll check in with you at the top and check in with you at the bottom. Talk to you later. Okay, so here we are, we're at the top and you can see some funny things have happened here. We've only actually went 12.4 kilometers, but we're now showing our estimated range at 201 based on how we've been driving. So we, what do we do? Like 84 kilometers or 85 kilometers of, our, of our range just going 12 kilometers. So why is that? How can that possibly be? It's because, you know, all the way up here, I was using probably 35 uh, kilowatt hours uh, as I drove up because of the steepness of the ski hill. And you'd expect that anyway with a, few, a car that used regular gasoline or diesel. As it's working harder to get up the hill, it's going to use more fuel, of course. Um, so you would expect both types of vehicles to uh, save fuel on the way down. But let's see how much closer we can get back to the uh, 286 that we started with. Okay, so here we are back down the hill, right back to the exact same space where we started. Uh, and I think, I'll have to go back through the tape to see exactly what it was, but uh, I think we started at 286, and we're at 269. So what is that? That's 17 kilometers difference in range, although we actually went 24.7 kilometers. So we've traveled further than we expected on our range. And um, it looks like we averaged uh, 14 kilowatt hours per 100K. So that's $1.40, right? Because 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So $1.40. And half that is 70, half that's 35. So it costs 35 cents right? 35 cents to go to the top of Seymour Mountain and back. That's pretty good, I think. I mean, if I was in an SUV with six kids and a bunch of skis, I'm sure it costs more than 35 cents. So I'm not sure if that's really a scientific test or not, but it's kind of fun to try and, uh, and see what it's like. But yeah, regen on the Bolt is fantastic. I think we knew that. And, um, Range is not fuel. Range changes. Um, you saw at the top, it said that I was uh, averaging like 40 kilowatt hours per 100 liters. And here at the bottom, it's 13.9. So, you know, um, it's just something uh, consumption, right? Anyway, I just thought that's interesting. I wanted to share with you guys. Talk to you later.